Ohio River adds its great flood from the east. Huckleberry Finn's monstrous big river can be recognized. It's still the Mississippi, and it keeps on rolling along, down to that jazz-soaked jewel of a southern city, New Orleans. Surprisingly much narrower now, although much deeper, the Mississippi carries the harvests of mid-America out through the second largest seaport in the United States to join the shipping lanes of the Gulf of Mexico. And new cargoes show it's still frontier country. Deceptively, there are still a hundred miles to go to reach this marshy delta the seaward extremity of that great load of sediments that the Mississippi scavenged from an area, it's been said, as great as England, Wales, Scotland, Ireland, France, Spain, Portugal, Germany, Austria, Italy, and Turkey combined. That measure was Mark Twain's. But what he couldn't know was that now, contrary to what might be expected, the river is building precious little new land. In fact, this delta is sinking quite fast nearly half an inch every year. Knowing why the land is subsiding may tell us why Old Man River rolls down this way at all. The river and its tributaries drain into the gulf through a vast basin. The earth's crust here is unusually thin and it's slowly sagging under the weight of sediment. How that basin formed is a story that started 600 million years ago. At that time, the world looked different from the one we know today. Continents were drifting across the globe, a slow voyage over millions of years. Movements of the Earth's restless crust sent the land masses we know today as Africa and South America drifting on a collision course with North America. The continents jostled and collided with each other, eventually welding together to form a supercontinent called Pangaea. The restless new mass formed a giant insulating blanket over the Earth's hot interior. As the heat built up beneath Pangaea, the continental crust began to stretch and thin. Eventually it tore apart. What are called rift valleys grew in several directions, but one began to enlarge much faster. Some rifts, like this one on the left, gradually became inactive and filled with sediments. Called failed rifts, they are weaknesses in the crust and can cause earthquakes. The active rift widened as a further layer of lava was added. More dense than the continental crust, it sank, creating a basin that filled with water a basin destined to become the North Atlantic Ocean. Further west on this supercontinent, where the Gulf of Mexico would later form, this same process was repeated. Once again, stretching created a new rift. The land to the north, weakened by ancient failed rifts, continued to stretch until the crust became so thin that it shattered creating a huge, shallow sea. The ocean flooded in, covering the continent well inland from today's coastline, drowning the piece of thin, sinking crust that would later become the silted floodplain of the Mississippi.